Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing okay so far. I know it's so annoying that the situation still hasn't changed, but I thought I would just sit down and film a relaxing video today. So yeah, I wanted to show you a little flip through of my April setup for those of you who haven't seen it and also so you can kind of see what it looks like all filled in. So yeah, if you haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Now before we start, I thought we could make some matcha latte. Now I know this is kind of random, but I've been really enjoying matcha latte these last couple of weeks um, and I thought I would just show you how to make it. You just take about half a teaspoon of matcha powder, then boil a bit of water and then pour it on the powder and pretty much just stir the crap out of it. And yeah, I like to have it with some oat milk and some coconut sugar. And yeah, matcha is really good for you. It gives you a bit of caffeine and it's just really relaxing, which I thought we could all use at the moment. So definitely give it a go if you haven't tried it and let's just get into it. Now, as per usual, I'm doing a painting from a cover. I personally just find it really relaxing to paint at the moment. And yeah, I wanted to do a cloud theme. And yep, I haven't really painted clouds before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm just starting with uh, some colors for the sky. And I'm doing a rough sketch of just where the clouds would be. And then going in with a flat brush just to lay down the color and some water just to make it more spreadable, I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going in with a few layers. I think I did about three or four, and that's just to make it really opaque and also to make it really seamless and streak free. So make sure you let it dry in between the layers as well. And for the sky, I used um, some dark blue and a little bit of green and some black just to make it really dark and a little bit of a greenish tint. And once that's dry, I'm mixing some colors for the clouds and I'm using a lot of uh, yellows, oranges and reds for the highlight, uh, also some pink in some spots. And then for the darker parts, I'm using a mixture of uh, blue and magenta, so like pink, <laughs> to make it a dark purple. And I also use some burnt sienna to make it a little bit darker and a little more desaturated because usually when you paint shadows they should be a little more desaturated um, in comparison to the highlights at least that's what I was doing <laughs> but yeah as you can see I'm just laying down some base colors um, I just tried to not really think about that I'm painting clouds um, but rather just to look at the shapes and the colors and just focus in more on the kind of abstract shapes that I'm seeing in the picture so the approach I took was just to lay down flat colors and then build on top of that, which is basically how I paint in general. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really have a plan going into this, but I think if you just keep working on it, it'll turn out great. So yeah, I'm just gonna let the time lapse run. Go ahead and sit back and enjoy and I'll see you in a bit.
sides. I was sort of happy with uh, the way the clouds were turning out. I took some liquid latex to um, put it on the edge of the clouds, which was in hindsight pretty unnecessary, so you could just skip that step if you want. But I just wanted to kind of cover up the clouds so that I could splatter some paint um, to create stars on the background. But uh, yeah, you could just use some paper <laughs> like I did afterwards. I just took a fan brush and a lot of watery white paint and uh, you could just kind of flick the bristles. But if you don't have a fan brush, I would recommend using a brown brush and kind of um, spreading out the bristles so that it's, it kind of looks like a fan brush. <laughs> uh, I just find it easier to use like spread it out uh, bristles. <laughs> this is really hard to explain just because there's less um, paint on the actual bristles that way and so you don't get like big blotches of paint. And after that's all done I'm adding a few last touches and details and I also forgot to mention but I'm going to be selling the print or uh, rather the skin of this painting like I did in my last video on my gum road and I also created some stickers which you'll see in a bit. Um, which are also going to be available on my Gumroad page, so definitely check it out if you're interested. Um, I'm just going to be selling them for like a couple of bucks, so nothing too expensive, don't worry. Um, so yeah, I'll leave a link in the description as well if you want to check it out. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Alright, and once that was all dry, it's time to peel off the washi tape, which is always the most satisfying part. <laughs> And yep, that was pretty much it. Alright, now for my actual setup, I printed out the painting twice and then the stickers that I created and I used the whole painting for my cover. I just cut it out with um, this handy dandy paper cutter. Also, I'm going to be creating a bullet journaling essentials video. I'm hoping to record that pretty soon, I just don't really know when I'll be able to do it yet. Um, but it's definitely coming uh, soon. I just cut out the illustration and then glued it on top of my cover page. And for the title, I used a bit of black paper as per usual and just wrote on top of it with my favorite white gel pen, which is the Uniball Signo Broad White Gel Pen. <laughs> For the other side, I wanted to use some of those circles I printed out. So I took one of each one and just cut it out with some scissors. And then again, used uh, the same gel pen to write relax, refresh and reconnect on each one of them which I thought was really fitting for the situation because obviously we're just stuck at home and I thought it was really important to kind of remember just to relax sometimes and yeah, just take it easy. And once I placed them into the middle of the page I also used a really dark um, purple shade of Tombow to a brush pen um, and just created a little border around the page. Alright, so moving on to my monthly overview. I thought I would just do the same layout as last month. I used a part of the sky bit that I painted for the weekdays of a little calendar and I'm doing a single page again just because I don't really have a lot of events that I need to fill in to my calendar. Um, of course, you could always use a double page. Just do whatever fits your schedule or schedule. <laughs> I'm not sure I already pronounced that. For the calendar, like the lines and stuff, I used a 
kind of muted um, orange tone and then the dark purple for the dates and the white gel pen on top of that. And then again for the title I'm using another one of the circles and just writing my overview with the white gel pen again and gluing it into the center above my calendar. And as always, the other page is going to be dedicated to my habits. So as you can see, I'm using a broad strip of the painting for the title and then I'm just adding all my habits. Um, in case you're new, I really like uh, splitting up my habits into daily, weekly and monthly habits just because I find it a lot more useful and it keeps me accountable for all of my habits and it's just kind of a system or a layer that's been really helpful for me and it's been working so why change it? <laughs> for the trackers I'm again using the two colors, the muted orange and then the dark purple. And then just to add some decoration, I'm using another strip of the painting on the bottom. I really enjoy this way of working with the painting just because I feel like it's uh, kind of like a personalized washi tape, <laughs> which is really fun. So yeah, I really love the way it looks. Definitely let me know if you like it too. On the next two pages, I'm doing my sleep and water tracker. Again, with a strip of painting on the top for the headers. And then for the trackers, I'm again using the two colors of Tombow Duo brush pens. And I tried out this vertical um, layout last month as well and I found it a lot more useful than doing a horizontal layout uh, which I did in my February one I think. <laughs> so yeah, I really enjoyed this one a lot more and I think I'm gonna keep using it that way. I also really love the way it looked all filled in in my April one so that's why I'm continuing to use this one. Again, to add a little bit of decoration, I'm using another strip on each side of the page. Next up, I'm doing a brain dump page and I only did a single page and on the other pages there are YouTube and Instagram ideas because my head is currently really full <laughs> of other things and it's just nice to have some space to just kind of jot down some ideas and stuff and I thought it would be good to kind of split them up. You could always just do a double page brain dump or something else for ideas or anything else you would love to do. You could also just leave it out or make it like a doodling page or whatever you want really. That's honestly the beauty of bullet journaling. And as you can see I'm keeping this one really simple just because I want to have a lot of space to just write down anything I need to write down and for it not to be so... I don't know, full. <laughs> All right, and lastly, I'm moving on to my first weekly spread of the month. I really like the layout I did for my last week of April. Um, if you haven't seen it already, check out my Instagram. And I decided to do pretty much the same again. And yeah, as you can see, I'm using parts of the illustration for the weekdays. And this kind of layout gives me a lot of planning space. And that's exactly what I need at the moment. On the top left, I'm using another circle for the header and also adding my usual sections for tasks, my goals, um, expenses, notes, and also workouts, which is a new addition to my layout, but I really wanted to get more into <laughs> working out at home and I thought that would be good to just kind of keep myself accountable and um, kind of plan what I'm going to be working on each day. And of course, I couldn't do a weekly spread without another quote. And so I found one that says, find comfort in the chaos. Again, very fitting at the moment. And I wrote it on another part of the illustration. Oh, and by the way, I just wanted to thank you guys so much. Um, I was really shocked to like see the response on my last video. So yeah, I just wanted to thank you guys a lot. Um, I'm just happy to have anyone watching my videos at all. <laughs> and yeah, just thank you to anyone subscribed or just to anyone watching um i really appreciate you 
and yeah that's actually it so here's a little flip through as always um i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below what other spreads you would like to see um i always like to hear your thoughts so yeah i really appreciate you i hope you're all staying safe and i hope you're all having a wonderful start into may i'll see you very soon bye bye